I didn't have to go jump through any hoops. He was like, I want to be with you. So everyone was always talking about, oh, he's such a nice guy. Oh, you're so lucky. And um, he was so handsome and very charming. The violence in our relationship happened in cycles and it was usually every three months, never more than five months in between episodes. I'd say, um, I love you, I love our family. I don't know why things had to be this way. I wanna be with you. Don't break up our home. And I, and I accepted it. I mean, I was scared to death. The second attack, the like very aggressive attack happened um, about three or four days after I had given birth to our daughter. He just started hitting me and he was hitting me on my arm and I'm curled in a ball on the floor and he's hitting me in my head and he's, and I'm just screaming, like in my brain, I'm screaming, stop, but I can't get any words out of my throat. And I remember my son was in the room next door, my daughter was in the other room, and the thought that was going through my mind was, he's gonna kill me, and no one's gonna know. I'm gonna lie here, and I can't do anything. The thing that I took away from my experience with Safe Horizon was, and, and the word that comes into mind is respect. It was the fact that they treated me with respect when no one else was. My friends didn't respect me because of my choices. Clearly, my partner didn't respect me. Um, and I didn't respect myself. They helped me rescue myself by giving me tools. That respect for my process, the respect of offering me the tools and giving me that opportunity to take them and to use them, I mean, it's priceless because I couldn't have gone anywhere else.